Thanks. The group North Haven Pride is calling on North Haven Public Schools to show more support for the LGBTQ plus community. Well, this is all in response to a controversial public comment session centered on a gender nonconforming substitute teacher. NBC Connecticut's Melissa Cooney joining us now with a backstory on this situation. Melissa. That's right. This happened when a non-binary substitute teacher and a cisgender teacher allegedly used the children's restroom at this elementary school. Now, they were fired after that happened. That's because it's against the rules for adults to use the children's restroom. Now, this topic was brought up in public comment, but it turned into a conversation where some parents were wondering if they could have their children opt out of learning from a teacher who is non-binary or transgender. I'm not discriminating. I don't want my child near that. I am not. I can't. If that teacher is qualified to teach K through whatever, they will teach K through whatever. Some parents in the North Haven community sharing with the Board of Ed Thursday that they'd like the ability to opt out of a class where a transgender or non-binary educator is teaching their children, saying policies should protect children and their comfort. The Board of Education maintaining at the meeting that they are prohibited from discriminating any teacher as long as they're qualified. The board says the former substitute, who is non-binary, was qualified and was then terminated for breaking a standard rule. I don't want that person around my child. We do not have opt out for that. Okay, then you guys are going to lose a lot of students. It's very harmful and it's upsetting and it makes me worry for these kids and the rest of us worry for these kids. North Haven Pride says they want to see the Board of Education and the school district demonstrate unapologetic support for the LGBTQ plus community. The organization says the misgendering of the substitute teacher and other rhetoric during the meeting was harmful to the LGBTQ plus community. The organization wants the district to implement professional development for school personnel on safe environments for LGBTQ plus people in the school district. If you truly are a safe place, then we need to see that because your words do not show that. Only actions can show that. And if you want to be this safe place for your students, then you need to do better. And the North Haven Pride says they haven't heard from the Board of Education or the school district. The Board of Education says they haven't met since last Thursday's meeting and deferred to their comments during that meeting. Live in North Haven, Melissa Cooney, NBC Connecticut News.